And now for your weekly dose of metal. Here are your hosts, Morgan Danielle and Luco Blaze on the Metal Experience. Woo! We just heard Raised by the Stars by Orinoco. They have a lyric video for that song on the YouTubes. 
And then we heard Genotype with the song The Dream. I am Luca Plays with Borg and Danielle. The He's got no facial hair, so I, I just don't feel right saying it anymore. The clean face of wisdom. The clean face of wisdom. <laughs> and we are rocking out here with, for the fourth time, Damn. Atlanta is burning. I never got my VIP bow, pass, too. Bow, 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 Morgan. Bow. They never gave it to me. Oh, bow, 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 Somebody got it. Someone's home. got two at home. Well, maybe I got one for each belt loop. They're trying Woo. to have you take your hat off to earn it. He's not wearing a hat. I'm kidding. Wrong one. I got mine. I'll take off my headset if that helps. I don't know how somebody missed giving that to you. Who seriously? Nobody cared who I was I until was. I put on the hat. <laughs> until I put on the mask. Well, why don't you guys go ahead and reintroduce yourselves to the metal experience world? Okay. And what you do in the band? All right. For those of you who um, haven't tuned in the first three times, we are Atlanta's Burning. My name is Keith Humphrey. I'm here on NPR with you tonight. <laughs> 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 Just kidding. I play drums and sing, and I'm a lot more uh, loud and bold in person than any NPR person, I'm sure. Indeed. And I am Dave, lead vocals. I'm Andy, guitar. <laughs> Al, guitar. Carleen, bass. Woo! Woo! Bass. Woo! Bass. 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 Four times. Free bass. Four times. Morgan, I think you need to make Keith another... Uh, I'd be very grateful. I will have to do that. I want to put it on my uh, my key ring, the one I only wear to shows that has all the f- like things, the VIP the things on it, the backstage well, passes what it was and the stage use pa- and all that. For, so who I can has put that on everything. Guys, come on. So those are pretty sweet because when I walk around with the Metal Experience badge on, people think like this dude is somebody. This guy, yeah, he's going places. This guy, is someone. Nobody. And you then know. I walk around with people, they don't question anything. Yeah, this guy just walks down town town. No, he, goes, he goes right into the, right into the radio station, here. goes right up to the 101.1 sound lounge, and he's just like, what up? I'm from the Metal Experience. They're I'm like, supposed to be here. Oh, my God. <laughs> we were expecting <laughs> he's, you. He's here. I don't know who he, he is, finally but came. he's here. He finally he's came. He's got credentials. It, it yeah. must, be, must be correct. So that's the thing. You guys, the, the listeners out there, if you make yourself fake credentials and just put whoa, VIP whoa, on there. We're, we're not. <coughs> Listen, We're Morgan. Not condoning just, this. I am. I didn't no, know it was totally going to work that I way. Totally, no. I totally am. If you if you look the part, people won't just question you. When you walk around, just act like you're supposed to be there. Yeah, indeed. And that you own the place. Right. You own well, the I think that's where that play. came from. Fake and it till you like, make it. They're like, whoa, like is that the owner's son or something? <laughs> <laughs> nope. Metal experience. No, I'm just, just a guy. Good. And I'm just a guy. I mean, it does feel pretty good. I'm not going to lie, but yeah. it's... Right. No, it feels regular. I just walk around. It's all about it's like, owning it. When I went to a hate, I went to the Hatebreed show. The, when Hatebreed played with Dying Fetus, Dying Code Orange, Dying and all Feed that. Us, Dying Feed Us. Like yes, last week. Amazing, by the way. Uh, those guys blew my mind. But I totally just walking through the crowd, and of course, uh, in my shameless um, self promotion, I was wearing an Atlanta's Burning shirt because I'm lame like that. And uh, this guy comes up to me. He goes, "Dude, that's a nice shirt." And I was like, "Thanks, Brosif." <laughs> You probably don't know who I am. <laughs> protein shake. <laughs> protein shake. But, <laughs> that's not all, see, Brotato see, Chip. <laughs> yeah, see you in the mosh pit, bro, Chacho. Yeah. <laughs> oh, bro, Chacho. Please tell me you seriously used that line. You might have. Oh, I totally do. Actually, I took a <laughs> break from line, moshing. Chacho. I had two knee surgeries in October. Oh. And I was like, He's in his wheelchair doing... I was, like, I was like, you know, I should probably take it easy. I just got that fixed. Like just took the bumps out of the fender. I probably won't race it this weekend. We'll give it a run. We'll give it a rest. Bro, Chacho. Bro, Chacho. Yeah, bro chacho. That's I'm right. Gonna, I'm gonna write that down. Nacho. Bro, Chacho nachos. That's when you and your buddy share some nachos. You know some macho. Bro, nachos. Chacho nachos. No, bro, Chacho having macho nachos. You and your bro, Chacho. But technically, if he's Whoa. your bro, Chacho, you're his professor. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. I just got school. Because you got to teach that, bro, Chacho. Professor. Yeah. Morgan, write all this down for me. <laughs> it's in the show. I can't keep listen up. Listen to it. <laughs> I can't yeah, keep you, up, bro, Chacho. Do you Chacho? listen to your own show? Do you, do you guys... I live it. Do you? Morgan always says that. You never re-listen to it. It's like, I fucking live that shit. Yeah. Yeah. I have a hard time because I'm like, I hate the song. You know, when you're at a concert and, you know, obviously, you're, if you're with Morgan, she's got her phone out nonstop and it's like, put I your phone scrapbook. away. I scrapbook. Okay, I'm making memories Put your to phone last away a and lifetime. Just watch it. She's like, you don't want pictures. I'm like, I'm living it right now. You're right. I'm living this. Yeah, when yeah, I was when I was young, we didn't do that kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah. 
I got scolded at Riot Fest last year when Rob Zombie was playing. White Zombie was playing, actually. They did the entire Astro Creep 2000 album, which was the reason I went, other than the Misfits. And, uh, and they, they, you know, like, he stopped. They started to play Thunder Kiss 65 at, at the very, very, very end of their set. And, uh, and they, he was like, yeah, like the drums started going. They started getting everything going, you know? And then he just cuts the song. And he's like, put your phones away. And we're just like, fuck you, White Zombie. Play me a song. Like, make me a, make me a bicycle clown. Like, do what you do. We paid you. <laughs> he's just like, no. Make me a bicycle. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Dance for me, puppet. I'm like, I don't care. Yeah. Did people put their phones away? I didn't. Well, what was it that, like, the band of Perfect Circle... No one can Cir- hear you. Like, the band of Perfect Circle, that, like, if you go through their shows, you can actually get kicked out for using your I phone. I thought that was Corey Taylor doing hmm. shit. No, really? It, it actually says on a Perfect Circle's, like, ticket, it says you cannot use your cell phone. No video. Yeah, no video. Oh. No cell phone, no nothing. Right. And right. if they see you, they'll send security and keep They're you also kind of out there. Yeah. I've never been to one of their shows, but yeah. they're kind of one of those out You know, there I, bands. I tried to draw a Perfect Circle's logo one time, and it turned out to be a pretty good circle. Was it pretty decent? A perfect Circle? No. I just tried to draw a Perfect Circle, and I sucked. <laughs> it was a pretty good circle, though. It's a decent circle. I'm going to do a cover yeah. band of a Perfect Circle, and it's going to be called a, a Mediocre. A mediocre Decent circle. circle. A Mediocre. A decent a circle. Yeah, for no, it'll be, zero it'll night, be like the shitty Beatles. It'll be we're the shitty circle. <laughs> the shitty circle. A mediocre octagon. There you go. Right. So Morgan, Atlanta's burning. It's their fourth time on. It is. One were the other three times that they were on. Well. One was the last time they were on. We had them back not too long ago because that, been in, that was uh, the summer. It was that in, they. It was in April or May of this past year. Mm. Of this Give year. Really? Trying to find yep. the profile. I feel like it was like a month ago. Do, do, it was probably like do, October. Do, do, no I was not here and I remember. No yeah. maybe, Your first time, Mom, was May 14th August. of 2013. Maybe. Yeah. Then it was August 2nd of 2016. Mm. And then it was June 6th of 2017. There you go. June, June 6th. 6th. Sicker and a dog. June. Six. June. Six. You were sick? That's why I wasn't here the last time we they were here, yeah. That's why you didn't get to, okay. Yep, so I listened to it at home the day after, because I listened to the shows. Because you you weren't able to live it, though. I wasn't able to live it. Makes sense. But I still go home and listen to the shows even after I live it. After you live it? Oh, yeah, because then I could be like, oh, my God, I forgot I said that. (laughs) I do it all the time. We can relive it. That's why. I live it and then I relive it. And that's right. the metal experience. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's like it's like when we were here when we were here like I want to say it was like a year and a half ago. I made some joke at the very 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 end of the show about having to blow somebody to get on the show. Yeah, that was two times ago. That was a long time ago. But then you guys were like, "Oh my god." You were like, yeah. "Who'd you blow? You didn't blow me." I'm just like, "You don't remember?" Dick. Oh man. <laughs> that's it, Morgan. This is what we're going to do. We're going to play the show from two shows ago right now. What? I can't do that. <laughs> no, no, no. We'll just redo it. Just when was the last time they were on it? June. June. What have you guys been up to since June? Well, like, oh, no. nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing. Out. Yeah, just, just you know, resort to Andy. Just you know, eating in our underwear or stuff like that. <coughs> um, what? Well, we most most recently practice in our underwear. Wait, there's <laughs> been underwear parties that we weren't invited to. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Uh, sorry about that. There, there is. Yeah. Have you been invited to the pants party? Uh, I'm at the pants party right now. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) She's going, yeah, a rave. It's a rave. (laughs) When we went to the rave. (laughs) Yeah. So since June, (laughs) since you guys just been practicing in your undies. Well, you know, we had, since June we did, let's see. We did the the revival. We did a number of shows. We did quite a few shows. We did a small state run, I want to say. Like, we went to Quincy. Played Quincy. down there. Yeah, we actually made the newspaper. Because, Ooh. Because Quincy, yeah. yeah, Quincy is Quincy's a uh, Did you frame it and ha- hang it in the band room? Um, we did not frame it. We do have two copies in the band room. I think they're Dave's just kind of sitting there. His, his copy, he said. Dave's copy is already framed. Bam. Yeah, <laughs> don't mess around. Yeah, we, uh, we went down there. We went down there, and they wrote a they wrote an article about us, and we were in the music section, top, you know, front page and everything. on. The That's thing. awesome. Morgan, can you look what? up the Quincy newspaper? Uh, what was my the internet f- connection sucks right now. What was the Quincy newspaper? The Quincy... It's Quincy Herald Wig. Quincy Herald Wig. Don't it sounds order like a the meme. prime rib in Quincy. <laughs> oh, my God. See, Al always chooses the shittiest restaurants. All you'll get is corn and mashed potatoes. That's it. That's it. They didn't give you any prime rib? No. 
I tell him. Well, you that's because order- he was joking. He was joking with the waiter, like, oh, no, I'm not going to get any prime rib. And then the guy took him literally. And then he got all upset except when his meat oh, except didn't show up. He asked me, how do you want it cooked? And I told him. Yeah. And, and Al then, said, not at all. And then I said, prime rib? No. I tell him. Well, you that's because order- he was joking. He was joking with the waiter, like, oh, no, I'm not going to get any prime rib. And then the guy took him literally. And then he got all upset except when oh, his meat except didn't show up. He asked me how. And he never said anything. Never said anything. So, no. so th- you didn't have to pay for it, though, right? Well, no, clearly. I mean, he never sides. even got it. Yeah. Right. I don't even it's think just, we paid for the sides. Yeah, but every time we go to Quincy, something happens. Al gets screwed. Al has, Al has serious food. We have a good food problem. record in Quincy. How often are you going to Quincy? We've been there twice now. We played there twice. Because Keith and I are both from there, so we still have like a connection there. Sure. So and you we, guys can't recommend back. any restaurants? <laughs> uh, no, no, I do. But uh, they don't go to them. They go to they, they go downtown, and they're like, oh, no, we're staying at a hotel on no, the riverfront. No, and I'm like, okay, that's cool. And but, then the next thing they call me, they're like, we're at this oh somethings pub, like this Irish pub. I'm so, I'm like, it was O'Sullivan's. Oh. I'm like, okay. And I'm just like, I'm like, well, oh, uh, where the hell is it? They're like, uh, well, it's on like 4th Street. And I'm like, uh, where is there a bar what? called Old, like Irish Pub on 4th Street? They're what like, about oh, yeah, last right time? From the patio. And I'm like, what about the first time? Oh. What about the first time? I'm like, what the fuck? I, I'm just like, I'm looking for this place. I'm like, this place is brand new. I've never even been in here before. Why so then you, you wouldn't recommend it. So what about what about the first time? The first time? That uh, was because Andy I just was got, on his gluten free I just cake got and we went to a screwed. place that I was like, don't get the chicken parmesan. What about the barbecue oh, yeah. joint? You don't go to a pizza What about place? the barbecue joint? What about that the barbecue joint? The barbecue joint. That food was absolutely amazing. You yeah. just got oh, screwed. Yeah. 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 Well, what did you get at the barbecue joint? Me and Crystal, me and my wife, we got this huge like family platter. Had just tons of cornbread, ribs, brisket, sliced and chopped. Because you know the chopped is the is the bomb shit. But you want to taste the brisket, like the sliced too. Um, and then you know, then we got we had like some Ralk beer with it, and we had all the sides, the beans and slaw and shit, you know. And and then Al got like these piddly burnt end ribs. It was like three <laughs> three ribs that were about like this, and they were just like so. That's like an inch Aren't and a half. Aren't they called rib tips? No, they weren't even <laughs> they rib tips. Weren't even no, but they I, were rib I, ends. I ordered the chicken and rib combo. And like we got a full slab of ribs, and they cut off the shit that we weren't gonna eat, and then gave it gave to it Al. To Al. Yeah, and they were like, "We feel sorry for that guy here. Just throw some extra ribs on there." And didn't they like throw like a little chicken strip on top of it or uh, something too? That was uh, the, that was, was the like, chicken part. It was like a dried up piece of chicken. <laughs> and here, yeah. here at the time, you know, James ordered the same thing, and his Boom. food was falling out of his tray. Yeah, like, like his food was falling out, and yeah. they give me mine. It didn't even cover like half the tray. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what so to say. So two times Al's been screwed by Quincy food. And I told them, they go to these, yeah, I mean, I did, do, I did recommend the barbecue place, but then I went there, and my food was great. I'm sorry Al had a bad time. Other than that, though, I'm like, hey, like, here's some restaurants you guys should probably go to, because that's where I go when I'm in town. Why didn't you ask him about your food? Actually, no, now I know, because then they'd probably spit on it. Al is, Al is non-confrontational. There's one thing I, You should have just about. ordered more. Oh, well, yeah, it's so good. I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not very picky when it comes to eating so I just order more. If it's not a lot, I just order more. Yeah, that's how you kill two burritos. It's pretty logical. Yeah. So besides eating that was a, a ton burrito, of food, a nacho, and a taco. What else has Atlanta been? <laughs> Atlanta well, is burning. Doing you filmed sorry. a music video? Sorry, yes. Yeah, we, we did. We yes, just, uh, Sunday. Let's talk a little bit about that. I saw something about explosions in a church. Explosions, explosions in a church. There were no explosions, as far as I know. She saw some sunshine that looked. It did. Explosions. I don't yeah, know how much you want to cool really picture. talk it about with lighting, that. Yeah, the lighting effect, the lighting effects that we were able to capture with the stained glass. Oh, it's beautiful. And everything yeah. was was really good. It's gonna really. I I hope it's gonna asset the video. Has it not been released well. yet? It has not. No. They just filmed we it. We just filmed yeah. it on Sunday. <laughs> like <laughs> like two days ago. Oh, less than forty eight hours <laughs> yeah, ago, we yeah, were yeah. we were finishing it up. Good luck having a video done in that amount of time. Yeah, we've got yeah. we've got you know, but we've we've got uh, we actually had an actress for this video. Yes. And we actually had a lot of props. A Did lot you more props pay her we... in Quincy food? No, no, no we no. would never do that. We actually, <laughs> yeah, no, we we didn't pay at all because that's just how we are. Nice. <laughs> How did Who's you find her as, to be your actress? We'll um, pay you with nothing. She it was, was... <laughs> I have to say, we, we knew a guy 
that knew a girl that knew her. This yeah. sounds oh, that's sketchy. A little, yeah. So then, real so sketchy. Then yeah. she showed up and she, stole all you know, your money. We dressed her up in many different ways. And <laughs> by that, I mean, no, just really one. And, yeah. uh, but it was cool. We had a makeup, like Dressed makeup and hair, just everything. Way. Like we had a girl, like we had a woman, like doing makeup and hair. Like it was, legit. it was legit. Yeah, yeah. And legit did you guys have to wear makeup and no. get your hair done? No, no. Keith did. He, they didn't have to, but uh, Keith did anyway. Only for my close ups. Yeah, I threw on some guy liner, extra yeah. thick. Yeah, he, he, was, he was just taking it close up singing parts. He took it all the way, that, pretty much. I went like, like pretty much full uh, Twenty One Pilots. Like I just put the yeah. stripe across my oh, eyes. Oh, good. And did the neck. Some beer oil, oil. Some beard oil. Fluffed yeah. it a little bit. Yeah, he actually had a guy just doing that. So <laughs> we had to, we had to pay a guy one hundred eighty seven dollars yeah. just to put one hundred eighty seven dollars in Al's beard. I don't know it why. wasn't really in the budget, but we made no, for we it. had to do it. We had to because he requ- it was in his uh, it was yeah. in his rider in his contract, and we're like, yeah, yeah. And we got the bill at the end, and we're like, what's one hundred eighty seven dollars for beard care? Right, right. And he's like, that was just products <laughs> I mean, alone. He, we were looking around, guy, and we were yeah. like, this could only be one the person. The guy was like, I'm giving you a twenty percent discount. Don't bitch. And we're like, well, god damn it, Jeff. So this Fine. this leads to a funny question, just really quickly. If you were to have a, a contract clause, like mm-hmm. like something ridiculous or whatever, what would be in your contract? You're what, talking about a what, ri- what would be our, yeah. our writer for what our would tour? Be, what would be in your writer's or your one thing per person? What would My you have to have thing. in it? Uh, I think I know... I know what, what Keith's would be. No, it has to be yours. Oh, you mine? You can't get somebody else's. What would yours personal be? <laughs> My, go, I guess Coca-Cola, I probably. That would be the you one need thing. You need Coca-Cola. No, Surge. Well, well, maybe Surge. But Surge sometimes is a little bit too much. It makes me a little jittery. So I would probably just say, give me a nice cold 12-pack of Coke. That's at, every just, show, well, every you're show. You get that at every guy. show. You're a simple guy. And if I, I probably won't drink all of it. I'll give some of it to my friends hanging out backstage. But <laughs> Hey, nice friends, guy. here's, here's some Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola classics. <laughs> But it is, it's, it's one of the best soft drinks, so, mm-hmm. you know. <laughs> Dave, what would be in your rider? I think we know. <laughs> come on, man, this, this shouldn't be that hard. What is it? Does it come out? Of, wait a minute, hang on, hold on. Uh, do I get three hints? I, I Does it come out of Tennessee? You know what it is? <laughs> Indeed. He needs some is it Jack aged Daniels? in oak barrels? Jack Daniels. Burnt oak barrels. Oh, man, I was going to say grape jam. That's it, and lots of it. <laughs> Damn. Grape Jeez. jelly. Damn. I, if I actually had a rider, yeah, that would, I would like a full bottle every night. That would be awesome. Probably wouldn't mm-hmm. get through it, but mm-hmm. that's what it is. It's nice Probably wouldn't get through it. Probably, uh, depending on where, what's going on. Well, he, if we're know, in Pittsburgh, Kansas, then possibly he'll have friends like it. like I have friends to share my coke with. He'd have friends to share his. his you would Jack yeah. would how that, smart see? we are. We're two parts Fucking already. Jack and carrots, coke. Jack and coke. Aww. Look at that! So that oh, a twelve pack in a in a fifth every <laughs> night. <laughs> what are you, Carl? I'm really interested. Yeah, what do you I, want? Opposite of Andy, I would probably do Lacroix because then nobody <laughs> would want it, and I would have all of it. There you it. go. <laughs> oh Strategy. <laughs> Why is this strategy. all beverages? This I, you can hilarious. have anything you want, and all you guys want to do is drink. That's well, the best thing. Well, I mean, <laughs> beverages. When you get on stage, you are parched. Like, it's yeah. ridiculous. Yeah, you got to hydrate. Hydrate is so, essential. Hydration. With Coca Cola, Jack Daniels, and LaCroix. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Al, 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 what, Al, what, about, Al well, what about you, bud? I think I would want. Um, he wants that beard stylist. <laughs> yeah, beard stylist. A beard stylist at every stop. Every stop. <laughs> and then. Bill Cosby bringing pudding pops. <laughs> that would be nice. That would be nice. <laughs> pudding. I have a really. He has to make the, fi- the face when he comes in. <laughs> so Bill That's Cosby a- every single night of tour. Yeah. Every night. He's pretty yeah. much just riding on the bus. I <laughs> hear he's available anyway. Oh man. That's a he little creepy. Like, yeah. Yeah. Trust got- that man. Al's just, just Al and Al 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 Bill Cosby hot bunking it in the van. Yeah. Yeah. Atlanta is burning. <laughs> what jello pudding? <laughs> what jello What a jello pudding do you want? Al, have you ever put beard oil in your beard? I have. Have you ever and? put pudding pops in That's your That's good. Beard? <laughs> all right. Just touch base. Yeah, you do that, and you got to put uh, the beard butter also. Beard yeah. butter. Yep. Beard Delicious. butter. And, yeah. and all right, Keith, Keith was mine, the one thing. Assuming, assuming that I would get a plus one on the tour, like I'd get to bring my wife with me, because if I couldn't, it would, it would probably be her, but definitely. Other than that, I would have to say if I could have, assuming that is that's already there, um, Pre-workout. <laughs> Pre-workout. Oh, my gosh. oh man. 
Oh yeah. Guns yeah. out, suns out. Because I, I don't, I don't. Uh, like Damn it! I screwed out, that up. Suns out. Suns out she guns means out. real guns, though. Free workout. <laughs> that way I could just get like, cause you know, I, there ain't no reason. This Super ain't the jacked. '80s. Coke is like a has been that you don't do that no more. You do. Now pre- I snort pre workout. Pre- <laughs> you don't snort it. You take it regular. And you it's up it. the butt. And then, and then you do. <laughs> yeah, yeah and you, you do some. You do about. You do about 25 jump squats and 30 push-ups, and you hit the stage, and you are ready to rock, man. <laughs> That's Keith's plan. Right. Ironically, right there. that's my routine too. As you butt chug uh, <laughs> some pre workout. <laughs> well, let's play the track that you guys just made your music video for. What was that song for? High ball. High ball. Right. Yep. Like and, the microphone. Uh, yes. Like the drink. Like. Before we play it, are you able to or like a puppy. talk about what the concept was behind the video or um, time? Okay. Well, and time things. in life. Yeah, things that happen in life and uh, things that you regret, and then time uh-huh. keeps going. Like there's a, a uh, essence of innocence at the beginning, and then and then you you live life and things happen to you, and and uh, it gets darker each day. Yep. Yay! Sometimes you go to the beach. Fun yep. stuff. Sometimes you sit in a hot tub and you watch Netflix. Yeah. And you watch Alien. That's the life. <laughs> That's the life. Well, here is Highball. Live in La Vida right. Loca. That's From right. Atlanta's burning. Enjoy.
This is Justin. This is Dustin. Dustin's J and D of the so called Saints. Or so called Saints. Tell your boys. Or smell your boys. You're listening to the Black Experience. Boom. And we are back. I am Morgan Daniel with Luco Blaze and the clean shaven person that knows person of a lot knowledge. about grindcore. Um, and that was Atlanta's Burning and the song Highball that we just played that they just shot a music video for. And when do you think that that video will debut? You guys finished shooting the video on Sunday. So yeah. that was like two days ago. So I'd say in a couple of weeks we'd probably have it done. Um, I, what I would like to do, this is my idea I just had today, which is like... <laughs> <laughs> Give it as like a Christmas thing. Do it like Christmas Eve. An know. Atlanta's burning Christmas gift to the world? Well, I guess. I mean, like some people would see it that way, I suppose. I some would people would be like, way. oh, another one? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know. <laughs> I don't know. Somewhere around there. Okay. And who uh, who actually shot the video for you? Vito Rade, I think is how you say his last name. And, and how did you guys get hooked up with that? Uh, G- Genotype um, used him for his for their video for Blight, and I think he's shot pretty much every Genotype video since then. There's only one video by them that I don't think that I think he hasn't done. So, um, so that's how we got to hold him because Vito wanted you know to do some more videos and things like that. So, Genotype sent the information to us, and we got a hold of him to do the video for Stellazine, and then and you guys yeah. have. You guys, ooh, we got the shoulders moving. Uh, I saw you over there. Yeah, dancing. Al's <laughs> dancing with me. Yeah. We're dancing. Um, there's, it was shot in a church. Yeah. So was it like an abandoned church or? Well, you know what? I actually looked into the history on this place because I was like, I don't know. I, I get interested in things like that for some reason. Churches. So I, I just checked into it. It turns out the place was built in like 1868. Okay. And it. Uh, Where was it? In Plainfield, um, right in downtown Plainfield area is okay. where it is. And, um, it, you know, it was built so long ago, it barely has a parking lot. So, you know, I mean, it's, you know, very old. It um, has an old stone foundation. Uh, it was, a, I think, a Unitarian church until, like, 1917. And then it was, after that, it was a Catholic church until, like, 1970. And then they moved out. And then they said, they didn't say what was in it from 1970 to 1990, but there was, like, various stuff that was in there. And then I guess from 1990 to 2010, it was like an Italian restaurant called Bocci's. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. So we were in like a Unitarian Catholic Pizza. Bocci's restaurant. Pizza restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> so right now there's just nothing, but you could just walk in there? No, you yeah. can't. You got. I mean, uh, there's some owners that Al knows, and uh, that's who let us in. It's actually apparently under contract right now to be sold, so... Did you have yeah. to like pay to, or they just let you into? No, so it's like you got no problem. You got the Sabbath to get your stuff. Get out! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we were at, we were at church on Sunday, kind of. There was, you go. Yeah, you know. So there, there is an old creepy well in the basement that's been sealed over, sealed over with brick. Like Did you a, have any paranormal experiences while? Like filming? actually, it is haunted, no. and um, uh. Keith and I were in the other room, and I saw somebody sitting in a chair for, like, a split second. And um, I asked the owners about it, and, yeah, this place is haunted. That's pretty cool. The only thing I saw was a ghost drinking a 1970s old style. That's it. <laughs> That's, That's it. it. I mean, and then, then they threw the can on the floor, which I have a picture of, so. <laughs> <laughs> so. Oh, my goodness. That's pretty crazy. You saw someone sit in a chair. It was like, you know, out of my peripheral vision. The perifs. So when I looked, then it was like a split second that it was gone. Yeah, breath is nice. So speaking of some wild sightings, let's discuss the wild animal sighting that was on um, Keith's drum set yesterday. Yeah, I mean, (laughs) I was just, I was hanging out and uh, (laughs) I just looked at Keith's drum set and I saw something (laughs) sitting there. So I went over there to see what it was and luckily there is video on the facebook page there's evidence rum- yeah i heard a rumbling <laughs> luckily there was it was not aggressive you saw no. with your perifs right perifs. yeah with my perifs you know periphery and, uh, nice it made an interesting oh, noise uh, that i had never heard and, and it's mm. funny what you'll find in these abandoned structures you know right 
It really is. <laughs> he was. He saw. A, oh, he saw a red. Was... He saw a red fuzzy animal that was. Yeah. It was purring at first, and it started making like a <laughs> noise. That was in the church. Yeah. Yes. So Take you also saw something in the church. Yeah. 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 I did. I did. Come to think of it, you know, I mean, I, I don't. I can't replicate the sound it made. Here, let me let me pull this up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you guys know what it sounded like. Was it a homeless man? I no, don't, I don't no. think it was. Well, you know, possibly. He, he, no, he homeless, has a home. A the beard, birth. the beard was much there too was, red. There's probably his, beard oil. The, the only thing that made it look homeless was the coat it was wearing. <laughs> and the oil in the beard. <laughs> yeah, the, this animal had. The goat. Wow. It, was, it was struggling to get out the door. It sounds like I it's mean, in pain. Like it you be the judge. There's a lot of <laughs> agony. It was like, it was like <laughs> yuck. 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 That's pretty good. <laughs> wow. That was my, Still, Ace, my Ace Ventura. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> and now? Yuck. Yeah. Yuck. No, <laughs> yeah. Yuck. So oh. did you guys release that animal into the wild? Uh, I just kind of left him no, alone. No, we actually we actually took it we actually uh, took you it know. in as a pet. That animal we, we released it, something it, into the wild. We take it with us wherever we go. Really, it's kind of like a band thing mascot. now. It's band mascot. I I heard that Cute. that animal also gets served terrible food in Quincy. Yeah, that, that you know what? I think you're right. He told me that when he was sitting there. We're lucky they serve him at all. And I was like, how do you know about Quincy? Like, we don't serve animals here. Yeah, yeah and then he just starts going. Eh. And then they just give him something. Yeah. Oh, like, uh, like, give him some scraps. Grab some shit out of the garbage give can. Some scraps. Give him some the garbage. <laughs> Throw some marinara sauce food. on it. <laughs> Throw some Poor marinara animal. on it. <laughs> Slather it Didn't sauce. even have any marinara sauce. That's funny. Uh, <laughs> he, he's such... You know, the thing is, he never says a word about it. You'd think that, you know, it's like, maybe you'd speak up for yourself. He did. Nope, not that guy. He did. You don't send anything back. To the kitchen. You just order more food. You never got I, anything, though. I did How used to work at Denny's. I know what happened. You order more food. Well, you did say something about the barbecue food. I remember that. Yes, I did. You did. You did say something about that. He was like, "Well, you know," and then they were like, "Then they told him." Well, I think they said, "Oh, that's all we got." Yeah, they're like, yeah. "Really? Bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. That's all we like, got. That's huh? that's all we have in the kitchen." This was like twelve and, in the yeah, afternoon. Yeah, that's when you're. Yeah, that's when you. <laughs> that's when you that's throw when, down that's when the check, and be the like, check, "That's when the check comes and you're I like, they're, they're like, you're short three dollars.' You're like, "I'm sorry, that's, <laughs> that's all, all I got, got that's dude. There's a couple more pennies. That's all I have." And then they'll call the cops and then. Right, and you're like, "Well, they only gave me three dollars worth of ribs, so I'm only going to pay three dollars for the ribs." You'd pay three dollars for that? Would you? Well, you got to tip the guy two bucks. So a dollar for the ribs. Why? <laughs> well, if it makes you feel better, Al, there is a job now where you can get paid to have your beard stroked. And I think it's in the UK, so you can move. And scientists have <laughs> so found you can move. <laughs> that stroking <laughs> beards releases Bye, hormones that calm people down <laughs> when they're stressed. And you have to have a two-inch beard, so you qualify. Oh my God. And each session costs 30 pounds, and for what? five minutes, it costs five pounds. So they would pay me. People pay They would pound. pay you they five pay a pound a Wait, minute to stroke how much your facial pound? hair? Um, I'm not sure, but you can uh, totally do this. Earn oh some pocket cash. So wait a second. I could pay you five pounds for five minutes and stroke your that's beard. That's like, you understand, like five pounds, so that's what? Like that, like maybe like $7.80? Maybe, US. Yeah. Is a pound more than No, has, it gone, has it gone down since Brexit? So you're saying, so basically it'd be the opposite. So like American money would be worth more. So pretty much. Than the, than the pound? Yeah. So uh, I don't believe that. Five usually the pound, like $4. The pound is usually always over what the U.S. dollar is. Two Bitcoin. I'll look it up. Okay. Morgan, were you looking that up? Higher. No, I was oh. not. The U.S. dollar is one of the most valuable currencies in the world. Probably so currently. Just saying. Speaking of currency, have you ever seen Canadian currency? It is plastic, yeah. and it's pretty cool. That's why it's not worth as much as, as U.S. dollars. Canadian penny is not plastic. Yeah. So is Australian money is plastic also? Yeah. All right, all right. Yeah. Bitcoin. Anyway. Bitcoin is... Currency of the future. Bitcoin is actually crazy. One dollar is 0.75 British pounds. So that means the pound is worth less than the dollar. The pound is worth a quarter more, 25% more than the U.S. dollar. Wait, what? One U.S. dollar no. is equal to 0.75 British pounds, according to Google so right So that now. means you're getting, right, so you're getting less for your dollar. So, yes, when you give them $100, you, you are get getting 75, 75 pounds back. 
which means Who knew that's that the it. Metal experience would be very educational. So that means tonight. the pound is worth more. It's worth twenty five percent more. Twenty five percent more. How Boom. Is that worth more. And that well, then, <laughs> yeah, well, five pounds. No, you, you know, yeah, okay. seven dollars and fifty cents American for five minutes to let me rub your beard. There you go. I can't believe Deal. I actually had that right off yes. the top of my head. Huh. I said seven eighty, but I was fucking close. Wow. Twenty five percent would be seven fifty. <clears throat> right? What's that? No, if the American dollar is seven fifty for five, yeah, five well, it would be seven dollars and fifty cents U.S. dollars for five pounds. Do I get a tip a also? A bit, I don't even know Bitcoin. Oh, yeah, Litecoin, yeah. I hear, is making Maybe. up. Litecoins are like oh, two hundred dollars today. Yeah, I bet. Just the tip. We're, get, we're getting off topic. Metal. The fucking metal. metal. The funny thing is, I saw. A we're Bitcoin not on a gold ATM. standard chat. What? What? What's that? I saw a Bitcoin ATM today. Wow. Bitcoin is not a physical thing. You can currency. You can hold. I just legit saw Bitcoin. Where? Where? In a smoke shop. Wait, oh. That's probably a funny money. To yeah, steal that, your yeah, money. that way they can get out. Yeah, they can. Uh, they yeah, can make. There's nothing back in it. It's backed by air. It's back. It's an. It's not a real currency. You can't physically hold it in your hand. Mm-mm. It's not backed by. Anything. It's backed by the nothing. Bitcoin is backed by the difficulty of creating bitcoins. That's what it's backed by. That's about it. So nothing. So nothing, yeah. pretty much. But it's and it's just <laughs> anonymous. Yeah, well, you can't. The person who created it. Was no one knows anonymous. where it really came from. Yeah. Well, I right. Have, I have this new currency. It's a new currency I'm starting today. You have to buy into it. and there's Beard nothing. hair does not count. How much? Well, what's the currency? I think that would, be a good, that would be a good currency because it's difficult to grow a beard. It's not easy. Right. It's pretty easy. It would be uh, inch okay. coins. Well, <laughs> it's easy for me to grow a beard. You never went back. That's what it is. <laughs> it could be, yeah. I, I've probably had one since, like, Myself. I actually do have pictures of him uh, with the power goatee, is what we call it. Yeah, power. The Ooh. power goat. Yeah, I can show you I, guys I like those to see later that. off air. Oh, you know what? Yeah, Let's do. go into another song so we can see some power goatee. Uh, the power goat. Five so what Bitcoin. track do we want to play next? Al, this is your choice. Whoa. Wow. That's but so while you stupid. say it, stroke well, the beard. Buy them. For everyone like listening, Al is stroking them. the beard while he contemplates How what about, song uh, we're playing next. Broadway. 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 All right, here we go. Stroke the beard. More I wish I had some beard oil I could from like. From Atlanta's burning. So stroke those beards and take a listen. <laughs>
Hey, this is Eric from the Sons of Rot, and you're listening to The Metal Experience. Woo! We just heard Broadway by Atlanta is Burning. What CD is that off of? Ashes. (laughs) Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What? Ashes. Ashes. All right. Thanks, Morgan. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Take it Get away. Get you some. Well, that it's shit is about on that like time. Google and Amazon and Reverb Nation and CD Baby, whatever. Revoib. Where do we? Where else can you? Everywhere buy that? under the you sun. You can buy it anywhere. iTunes doesn't matter. It's everywhere. Sorry. Bro. No, it's okay. Sorry, no. bro. Chacho. Did I not? Yeah. Was I? No, it's about that time. Never that time. It's that For time. For some knowledge. There's just somebody that I used to know. Time to sit back and relax. And listen to the one that the metal gods themselves gave us. It's time for the heaviest of them all, the Chin Hair of Knowledge. Okay. Welcome back. Hi. How was Exhumed? Fun. Exhumed. Yes. Well, Exhumed was last week. I know. Ghoul was last night. And how was Ghoul? Yeah, I got covered in like a little fake blood and stuff. It was fun. But you used to live for that shit. I still do. Remember? You used to get covered in Watain blood. Watain clan. And and Guar blood. Yeah. I don't see Guar anymore. <laughs> All right. What do you got for us this week? Uh, a few tour news, one random news. That's about it. Tour news. Uh Ministry. Uh April eighth at the Turner Hall Turner Hall Ballroom, Milwaukee. Or April 7th at the Riviera Theater. Uh, Alice in Chains, May 15th at the Riviera. Um, Septic Flesh, Dark Funeral, and Die Antichrist. Um, uh, March 4th at Reggie's. Uh, Darkest Hour with Horrors and Extinction AD, February 22nd at Reggie's. And an American Nightmare with No Warning and Spiritual Cramp. February 25th How can you have a spiritual cramp? Lounge. Are you going to any of those? You don't hydrate enough. Probably I won't be at any of them. Due to work. Dark Funeral would be pretty sweet. What was that, 9 11? Yeah. Fucking asshole. I. All right. So I'm with Morbid Angel and Grave. Okay. And a Viscretorium. Really? Wait, a Viscretorium is back? No. I saw Smeddy last night. He has no dreads anymore. What? Smeddy Does he look like a weirdo? Shaved his dreads? He has regular black hair. What? I don't think I've ever seen him without the dreads. I saw him last night hanging out with Caitlin Coley. That is insane. Hanging out with who? Caitlin. Who's Caitlin? All right. Oh, friends from Continue. Oh. But that's it with tour news. All right. Next. Random news. Yeah. Talking to the microphone. Uh, the band Cynic is back. Um... Uh, they've been kind of inactive for a few years, like two years, because uh, there was uh, a rift between... Didn't that guy just pass away? No. There was a rift between drummer Shine, 
Sean Reinhardt and uh, guitarist uh, Paul um, Masvidal. Masvidal. M A S V I D A L. Um, but I guess there was uh, I forget, like I don't really know the whole reason, and nothing was, will really become public. But uh, there was a I guess a bunch of stuff that was going on, and I guess. Um, they reached a settlement, and uh, Sean left the bands, and Paul will continue to band. So, yeah. And we'll probably never know what the settlement was. So, yeah. Money. Probably. Probably, probably just man kisses. I always settle in man kisses. Probably beard rubbing mm. section sessions. Five pounds, five minutes. Oh, five That's- minutes worth of beard rubs? Yeah. Hey, five minutes, you just earned seven dollars and fifty cents. That's I'll, more than like I'll a waiter or a bartender. Like well, you I just made sick money. Tonight. Well the funny thing well the odd thing is both members, Sean and Paul, were part of death for a while. So Really? That's Al's that's Al's alley. He's a big death fan. He's a big fan of death. Yeah. But it was like I know I know with this the whole settlement like a few years ago, like both of them announced that they were both gay. And stuff too, um, so I know that's kind of off story. Is that why you like them so much, Al? I would, I would understand. It's okay. But yeah, so Cynic will continue. Cynic's a cool band, right. progressive, kind of like death metal, jazz esque. And you brought a band tonight for us. Yeah, I did. What'd you bring? A band called All Pigs Must Die. <laughs> All Pigs Must Die. Where are they from? Massachusetts. What style of music? Uh, right, cool. Like. Crust punk and hardcore. It's got dudes that like converge and trap them. All right, and then what song do you bring? Extinction is ours. All right. They're well, probably Patriots. Fans. Let's do it. All pigs must die. Extinction is ours. Off the album. God is war. All right, let's do it. I expect that type of language at Denny's, but not here. Well, that's too freaking bad. You hear me? Because we're throwing it back to Morgan and Luco on the Metal Experience. Cool. And we're back. 
Hey there. Hey there. Hey there. Hi there. Hi oh, there. Hold oh, there. How you doing there? Good yourself. The other day, you know, the other day I, I stopped the truck. I had to throw a beer can out the window, and I saw it about a Buddha boat. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But the problem was is that the guy was just mad because there was a moose loose in the hoose. <laughs> <laughs> what did we just hear, Derek? All pigs must die. <laughs> and what was that song? Extinction is ours. That was pretty good. Look, oh, no, I can pretty good, you. pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good indeed there, guy. I, I like that. You sound that was like off their date new CD, their only CD they have. Oh, they've got they Derek, got like three albums. You just kissed him, you yeah, weirdo. Yeah, we're going to... So what, Morgan? So what? It's practically incest by now. What the... <laughs> so be it. <laughs> I'm double dipping. Phew. <laughs> 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 That's disgusting. It's just all in the family. It's all in the family. All the family, Not Morgan. anymore. It's yeah, not. Like you can have like, like Chevelle. <laughs> it's all in the family. All in it. <laughs> oh, Ew. Oh, my goodness. Why would you... God damn. Oh. It's, it's oh. a signature trait for the family. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're rocking out here with Atlanta's burning. We're getting creepy. We're yeah. getting creepy. Uh, getting off track here. Getting off track a little bit. So uh, what does the rest of the year have for you guys? You guys, anything in store for the rest of the year? Yes. Some <laughs> sick-ass shows. The next sick three weeks? Shows. We, we, have, um, we have a really awesome show coming up on the 29th. In, at uh, Penny Road Pub, we've created a band union for it. Yeah, we it's did. called Band Fam United mm-hmm. Two, two, because there was one before that. There was, but we didn't play that one. No, but we're we're playing Band Fam United Two. Right, it's like it's like part de. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So part we didn't we yeah. didn't play Band Fam United One, but we are playing Band Fam United Two. Right, just just to say. Is it going to be a twist? Is uh, it going to yeah. be what? There's going to be a pop up trivia. And everything, or pop uh-huh. pop up video trivia. Oh, nice! You guys have live pop up video. We will, yeah, like VH1. Pop up video. Pop up video. <laughs> <laughs> they'd be like, you'd be like, did you know Keith actually lip syncs this part of the song? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. We just pipe all our vocal tracks to the PA, and you know, we don't actually do anything. That, like that would actually be awesome if a band had on the projector pop screen up like video. pop up video stuff we going do that. on. That's with an the awesome song. gimmick. Like, did you know that the lead singer Dave really loves to crochet? Yeah. And people would be like, you wouldn't know that, wow, would you? But I now you never do. know that. And then he's in front I didn't of know that. screaming, and it's like, and me car- too. Yeah, yeah, the bassist fights MMA. <laughs> Amateur. Yeah. Amateur. You know I mean? <laughs> and practices on the singer while he's crocheting. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. Nobody right. knew that oh, Al we could loves cats. Yeah. We can just make a bunch of facts, like just throw them up there. Yeah. Right. Al loves cats. Awesome. Yeah. Al loves cats. That's Interesting way. fact. One yeah. time Al painted 2,000 square feet. In three hours. Yeah. What? Actually, I actually think everybody be like that, not Al. Wow. <laughs> I bet you no, no, Al. Al. Dave people. can do that in five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Dave will watch Ronnie do that. Well, the only difference is Al used his beard, Al and that used- takes a lot oh. of strength. Yeah. Using his beard as a paintbrush. <laughs> he dipped that that shit it's, right in the. It thing. doesn't hold as much as the brush. He hires me yeah. to do the trim, like just do the detail, the cutting, because I've just got the goatee. Yeah. That's so why I do the cut cutting. lines would be I horrible with a beard. Oh, so the hard part's the corners, getting in the corners with the beard. Yeah. The chin. People would probably actually believe. Derek, no one can hear you. People would probably actually believe. It'd be great. No, no, you understand. Like, no, it's real. I, it, the, the thing is, is the, some, of those little, some of those little show gimmicks are so much fun. I, what lies ahead? I went to see a show with them at Cairo uh, recently, and they had a show gimmick that I thought was just brilliant, downright brilliant. They, what they did was they took every song that they've ever made, and then they renamed them to something no one would know. And one song was called, like, you know, um, uh, Drum, like, Drum Wankery was the name of, like, one of the tracks. That was the one I requested, personally, drum because wankery. I'm always down for some Drum Wankery. And, uh, and then, yeah, it was just, they just gave everybody a sheet in the crowd. And you chose whatever song sounded interesting. And there was a song, like, one of the songs was, like, you know, uh, me and, you know, me and Santiago, like, we, we sing about our feelings. And then it's like the next one's like, we sing about our feelings some more. And then there's like, we sing about our feelings, but then I scream about my feelings. <laughs> and like that was the names of the songs. And it's just like people went down the list and just said, well, we want to hear the song while you scream about your feelings. And he's like, okay, boom. Then they just started playing a song. They didn't, no one knew what the set list was that night. They didn't even know what the set list was that night. They actually just followed the same set list they always play. You they just d- called out names. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. That's actually brilliant. Like, we're going to play the same set. Hey, guys, we're going to play the same set, but we're going to pretend like they're... Right. 
That band has also changed their name temporarily to What What Rhymes With Bread. What Rhymes With Bread. Yeah, they did that (laughs) one time, too. Mm -hmm. They took the same logo, and they just, like, they just put What Rhymes With Bread instead of What Lies Ahead. (laughs) <laughs> always, always bending the rules. That's right. Yeah, you always got to be fresh, fresh, fresh in the fresh. scene. You get stale, you're dead. Yeah, and uh, just like bread, just like bread. Yeah, you get thrown out. We should so, mention those guys are on the show December 29th. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. As, as well as well, a silent truth and barrier pass. Barrier we haven't pass. played with them like BYP. Three years. You ain't down with the BYP, man. Yeah. I'm down with the BYP. You know me. Yeah. So, but seriously, you guys O-P-B. should get a pop up video. <laughs> yeah, you know me. They have, don't they have the projector at Penny Road? They do. They do. They do. They yeah. do. So, yeah, we just got to get someone to do some. Uh, we could probably pop. get Vito to do us uh, some pop up video. Just, just tell him to write some shit. Yeah. You could put something up there like, you know, mm-hmm. did you know Highball was actually named after the 1990s Radio Shack microphone? It was. <laughs> and we, we purchased one for the music video. I purchased one. And, uh, and we used it. Because, did you go back yeah. in time? No, I did not. I went to eBay, which is basically a time Going capsule. Going back in time, yeah. And, um, Get and things yeah. that aren't sold anymore. And then we, we used it. I, that was the only microphone I used during the video. I was like, no, no, I bought this for the video. And now I'm going to use it forever because... Yeah. It's a very good mic? It's not a very it's good mic. It's not a very good mic. It, it was, was a $12 microphone. <laughs> <laughs> when, I was, when I was, you know... You're saying there's a chance. <laughs> there's a chance. It's going to get used. You betcha there. When I was young, it was a it was a great mic because it was like $40. I'm like, wow, $40. And we, and we were in Quincy, you know. and that was the best microphone available. Because yeah. this is before eBay and Amazon and whatever, because the internet was basically just you, you know, know, bolt boards that you went to. I heard that <laughs> Quincy, you can't get a good meal from. That so, might be true. That, it, you know, but the thing, what do you think, honestly, Al, is that true? Honestly, it's just Very more, true. it's Very just true. that um, Quincy has yeah. an... How do I put it? We have Epidemi- a local. We have a local um, innate hatred for gingers. Oh. That's basically oh. all it is. What's that have to do with food? That's with, starting to uh, make sense now. That explains why. Let's put Al the links couldn't together. Get his orders right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're just like, yeah. Well, that's Man, because I, I'm sorry. I'm very tired. Today. Yeah, for and for hate comments, Andy yeah. doesn't have any. They're hate like, for they're like, yeah. They're like, is he a red? Yeah, give him a red. Is he yeah. a red? Okay. And they're so like, there you okay. go. There's the reason. Yep. I got an idea. Reds don't get served. Give him the time. sides. Keep the main course. <laughs> we'll that'll, the get meat. Meat. Yeah, <laughs> that'll get him. That'll get him. Keep that'll the really meat. fuck keep him up. Because the the then he's gonna think the meal's coming. Don't serve that red a prime rib. Don't do it. We'll him. eat the meat. We'll just give him the corn give and potatoes. charge him for the whole thing. <laughs> charge him for the whole He's thing. Love give this. the meat to the dog. <laughs> <laughs> El yeah. never did get his. You know, you know, right? you know. I, I, that's that's all in joke. Quincy's a very nice town. I suggest you visit. Um, you, travel you, and vacationing. <laughs> uh, you know, sightseeing and stuff in Quincy. It's very very heavily Although promoted. The, uh, if you're not a ginger, the KFC right. buffet did not. If you're German, you will fit in 100 percent down there. Which is not in Quincy, by the way. That's a normal. What's that? The oh, KFC. the KFC. KFC. There's a KFC in Quincy. Oh shit! Why haven't we been talking about that, man? Oh, God. Yeah. yeah it's we, not a buffet. Oh, we did our God. little. We did our little mini uh, weekend tour there, and uh, yeah, they, these guys found a KFC buffet, which to me I grew up with. I was like, Didn't this even is know there was this one, has dude. always been a part of thing, but it's just been mediocre. This so it's whatever. So then, so they just go and they're just like, oh my God, did you know KFC is a buffet and they have cherry cobbler that is to die for? It was best, so good. We stopped ever. on the way there. And on the way back, yeah. it was that good. And, I, and I was just like, thing. "Guys, there's better food." And they're like, "No, there is no." No, food. I don't think so. It was, it was the best KFC, the best dude buffet, right? Yes. Yep. Yeah. And, and, and just, everything, and it's not even like you would think. Everything was, like, was fresher than when you order yeah. it at a, at a place around here. It was, like six it was bucks. amazing. Six dude. bucks, all you can eat, all you yeah. can poop. It just, yep. <laughs> <laughs> all you can poop. <laughs> it just, it was a flood. It was a flood. The oh, weight yeah, the of the water. Of yeah. So Al, 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 Al plugged, Al plugged the toilet at the hotel, no, and then blamed s- it on Dave and all the hotel workers. <laughs> no, here, see Dave, it, and they're like, "Oh, this fucking dude, guy." It was terrible, dude. He's in there, and <laughs> it was I went down. Setup. I went downstairs, and I came back up, and I was real happy. It's Saturday morning. Well, apparently, he clogged the fucking toilet, called for room service, got the plunger, and blamed him. And then I was downstairs, so he blamed me. So I'm coming walking down the hotel hallway and shit, and they're like, and they're, they're looking at me like, like fuck, like asshole, how did something you know? that big come out of that little right? Guy? And I'm like, what, what is going on here? I walk in, and he's got the, the plunger. The toilet was broken for the, no, the bullshit. <laughs> it was broken before it got there. But, oh but the best God, part of the story is what Al said, you know, about because. Dave's I was like, "What are we gonna do about this?" Because yeah, I get, yeah. now I have to shit. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So I mean, 
And he goes, don't worry, the weight of the water will push it through. <laughs> so, so the we're, rest, writing, we're the gonna rest, write a song called the weight of the so water. So the rest of the time we were through. like, we just kept going, the weight of the water will we'll push, push it on through. <laughs> 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 the whole rest of the week. But that song's a fucking fallacy because yeah. it never so did. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna sneak those lyrics into one of our songs eventually. So I if d- someone hears the weight of the water. I had to go shit know. in the fucking pool yeah. house. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I had to go I had to fucking go downstairs to the pool house. It was I had him stand guard. The walk of shame. It was bad. Yeah, it was more yep. like a clinch. Yep. <laughs> the clinch but of shame. The clinch of shame. The clinch of shame. Al, <laughs> watch the door. <laughs> it was bad. The door didn't even lock. It was terrible. Oh, yeah, and you, the last person you want guarding the fucking door is Al. You shouldn't have traveled with a red. <laughs> Not in that time. Yeah, he'd probably be like, hey, check it out. There's an open bathroom well, Yeah, there's there. a bathroom here and no one's using it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they're so afraid of gingers down there, so nobody, uh, nobody, we had no takers. Reds. Reds. Thank God. They just saw them the Reds, gingers, way. whatever. What do they prefer to be called? Reds. 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 Don't trust them. They Big oh, Reds. Oh well, why don't we go ahead and play another track? Right. Uh, what's the next track, Morgan? Who's picking this time? Let's go with... Don't look at me. Carl. Carl. Mm. Let me think. What's your favorite song on the album? Of on Ashes? Of, uh, well, let's just say our entire discography. What is your Ooh, favorite song ever? That's a toughie. Because I, I know, I know, like, there's some songs that you're like, you know, I really don't rock out to that song. Oh. But there's other songs that you're like, no, I'm going to make a t-shirt for this song because I fucking love it. Well, I was, <laughs> if, if you picked Ashes, I was going to say Disclaimer. Uh, I know, I know. So we'll just go with Disclaimer. Formerly then. known as Hey Girl before we recorded yeah, it. That hey was the working girl. title. That was exactly it. It was That's Hey a, Girl. Yep. That was yeah. what it was. Hey it's still, it, the click track is still in my phone that says Hey Girl. So they're like, yeah. Disclaimer. I'm like, oh, Hey Girl. Okay. Yeah, that was the working <laughs> like, title. Like, I did it tonight. You know, that was the working title. We have a lot of working titles. Like, a lot. We run out of new. Like, we're like, hey, what's that new song? And then we go to do another one. They're like, no, I mean the new, new song. And then by the time you get three down that don't have lyrics to them yet, you're like, no, the new, new, new. F- fuck it, one, five, three. Yeah. That one. Because that's or the BPM of the song. We, we had this, other, we have this other song. <laughs> Did I? Did I? Hey, if you wouldn't have said nothing, it well, wouldn't be nothing. We had this other one where Keith was singing Desire in the chorus. And right. He wrote it on the board. like We have a whiteboard. And yeah. so then Al erased it and wrote Desiree, Desiree. instead. Desiree. So we started calling it Desiree, and then that turned into Desiree's baby for some reason. Right. So and shout out, shout out to baby. our to our girl at Crazy Poor Desiree. What's up? If you're gonna listen to this, maybe. <laughs> no. Crazy I'm poor. gonna tell you that we were said your name. We mentioned you, so just listen hey to girl. it. Like, hey girl, hey girl. Desiree. Right. Desiree, how's she takes your baby? she takes good care of us at at the CP. How's your baby? <laughs> She's like, How this one's called baby? Desiree's baby. She does actually, oh. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> no, this one's called Disclaimer, right? All right. Well, let's do it. Atlanta is burning. The song Disclaimer.
I am Mike. I am Mark. We are Polarities. You're listening to the Metal Experience, motherfucker. And we are back, back in black, on the Metal Experience, rocking out here with Atlanta is Burning, and we just heard another tasty track. That song was super tasty. Morgan, that was called... Disclaimer. I knew it. I done news it. Or Desiree's Baby. Or Desiree's Baby. Uh, <laughs> no, that was <laughs> Hey Girl. Not the same songs, but oh. Hey Girl. Oh. Hey, hey Girl. Hey Girl. Hey Girl. Yeah, Hey Girl. There you yeah. go. Oh, because it was Desire that turned De- into... Yeah, De- yeah. Desiree's Baby. Yeah. That's, that's a new one. Desiree's that's a Baby. One. That's a new one. Hey Girl. That's a right girl oh. thing. Son of a bee sting. <laughs> All right, Morgan. You know so what, it's about that time for you, you know what time Luko. it is. Yeah. Set that shit up. Now it's time for. Hey man, look what I found! Only on the Metal Experience. <laughs> All right, this week brought to you by Imprint Recordings, your music, your imprint. Visit Imprint Recordings for all your recording needs. Yeah. And this week we have all the way from, I didn't believe this was a place, Pittsburgh, Kansas. Apparently, you can go to this place in the world. 20,000 people. Pittsburgh, Kansas. Population 20,000. Al was born there, I guess. I want uh, to go. Oh, he wants to go. Okay, you weren't born there. He just wants to go. Uh, the band <laughs> Take the Day, the song Take Everything. All right. Let's sounds do like it. a chant. Sounds like. Sounds greedy. Sounds greedy. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Al would know.
that was Take the Day from Pittsburgh, Kansas, uh, with the song Take Everything. And that segment is always brought to you by Imprint Recordings. Your music, your imprint. Check out imprintrecordings.com for more information on all your recording needs. Woo! Call Charlie directly. Call Chuck directly. <laughs> or Justin. Or Justin. Yeah. And uh, I am yeah. Lugal Blazer Morgan better, Danielle. I have a better chance of Justin picking yeah. up. Justin's, Justin's a really, really <laughs> nice guy. Really yeah. nice. Really nice. Real, guy. real nice. He's, nice. A, he's a smooth he's cat. Real, real nice. Smooth cat. We're he's still smooth cat. rocking out here with Atlanta's Burning. <laughs> he's a smooth and, cat. Uh, I wanted to go over some. We're almost at the end of the year. I want to do a year in review. Your favorite album of 2017. Well, I'm going to be Alex Ovechkin here and say my own. Oh, I'm just I'm kidding. (laughs) Totally kidding. He went there. (laughs) I totally totally kidding. Uh, Because, well, all you NHL NHL people out there would know, but he had he was interviewed one time, and they're like, "Who do you think is the best player in the NHL?" And he goes, "Me." (laughs) <laughs> Dylon, and he Dylon. was totally serious. Who's the best rapper? Oh, Dylon? Dylon, 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 and Dylon. Dylon. Spit I hot fire. I am the best hockey players in the world. Yeah, yeah. But um, I'm trying to think, 2017 album. Hmm. Oh, well, broken stick. I. Whoa. Hey. I don't Back to really doing. know. Sorry. <laughs> 2017. Anyone? Anyone? I'll tell you. I'll tell you what. My favorite. <coughs> I'll give him time to think. My absolute favorite uh, album of 2017 was released in late 2017. Okay, it's by a hardcore band out of um, out of Birmingham, Alabama. Okay, the name Gideon. Okay, the album's called Cold. Gideon with the album sick as fuck. Got Ooh. Jamie Jost on it. There's a song called Freedom that he features on the album. Freedom. But uh, but really, this from front to back, the album's great. Pretty solid. Oh, amazing! Absolutely amazing. Must must see. Mustard. Must, must check out. Mustard. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Who else listens to music from 2017? I listen to music Derek, from 2019. what's your favorite <laughs> album of 2017? I got no clue. You have no, el- you have no, you didn't yeah. listen to anything that was made this year. I have, but what no else one was can hear this year? Was I have, but it's not about me. I can tell you what my favorite 2016 album was. What was your favorite 2016 album? P3 from Periphery. Morgan, what, difficulty. what was my favorite 2016 album? Dig Deep by After the Burial. Oh, my God. <laughs> Luco listened to that nonstop. Fucking high five. In the car. Bro. Months. So much so, I love the album, why don't, but I why was like, you, you need to take like it that. out, Luco. You just need to open a song where you're just like... Pick up a yeah. pancake, pick up a pancake. Gent, 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 gent. Pick up a pancake. Pick, pick up a pancake. Brrrrat. 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 I'd say if that guy came out with an album, I'd be a fan. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, you're talking about the YouTuber? Yeah, the he's YouTube got guy. Some, he's got some good videos yeah. out there. What's funny is, like, the Oxford stuff he English writes, diction. just screwing around is far better than anything pretty I write good. when I'm actually trying. So. Yeah, right? <laughs> pretty <laughs> good. I don't know. I don't know. I've heard some pretty damn good gent. Gent. Morgan, gent. my favorite album of 2017, because it's the only album I listened to that came out this year, is... Cannibal Corpse. That came out like a week ago. Really? The only album I listened to that came out this year. So I guess uh, well, I only had one. There, there, was an album, there was an album that released yesterday okay called alpha by war of ages okay i highly recommend it i haven't heard it war of ages and talk to your boy charlie chuck i got him on war of ages okay so now he goes to every single show whenever they come through great group of guys real nice had pancakes with them very first night i ever watched them play pick up a pancake yeah went to went to a waffle house in the city or went to gold nugget in the city after the show they played with throwdown and they were just like yeah like were you at the show tonight i remember you i'm like yeah yeah come over here and just sit with the band and let's just eat some breakfast get over here it was great talked about jesus sit on my lap with some cupcakes Oh, Throwdown's amazing. Yeah. Dave, any albums from 2017? Hmm. I think he's got them. Oh, he slept for a minute. There. No, I yeah, I did. I'm awake now. Um, did this happen last time he was on? I'm always napping. Didn't we just take like pictures around him or something when he was just You just like, finger out? blast me? Something. <laughs> uh, the Architects, they released a new album, but that's all I pretty much been li- anytime I'm not listening to 947. You know what? I actually <laughs> 
Yeah, I gotta say, I heard that one recently too. So I guess I, I mean I wouldn't say it's my favorite, but I don't know. I mean, is it the only album you listened to in 2017? No, probably not. Like I listen to a whole bunch of stuff daily, so I probably have heard, heard other stuff in 2017. I just don't really know. So. I feel like we're what are you laughing about? I feel like we're leaving out the elephant in the room here. Does oh, anybody okay. else think so? Let's see genotype. What Genotype. Genotype had a really awesome. Do you, do you album. Yeah, yeah, that album. Like that 2017. Yeah, I like that yeah. one. That's a local three. Yeah, yeah. Deal, but yeah, I like that. Yeah, G three, G three, G three. Oh my God, the song "Low Drift." <laughs> L oh, track Favorite. nine. Feel oh, a little man. low drift there, dude. I actually, Favorite? I actually got a hold of, oh, I actually got a hold of, uh, of their, of their producer, and I asked for the track without drums just so I could like jam to it. I'm that's like that sweet. riffage that's really is so <laughs> sick. Pick up a pancake. That's right. I think it's funny you like said like I got a hold of their producer I as did. if we don't know who that is. No, <laughs> no, no, but no one else does. Uh, uh, Imprint and Cording's uh, sponsors it's this. Charlie. Event. <laughs> it's Charlie. 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 There. There. Charles. L favorite album or Carlene favorite album of 2017. Favorite album yeah, nothing this year, from 2017. But probably the best show I've been to this year. Okay. We can do that too. Oh yeah, we um, that. Was Flag and Miley. What? Yeah. I still haven't <laughs> seen them. I'm super jealous. That was, uh, <coughs> amazing show. Best time. Hey. hey. Okay. Oh. It kind of came through, right? It did. Yes. Good. Best show, best show of 2017 that I'd say I've been to that I I, I I'm going to go uh with Andy on this. Uh Andy's method was actually my own show. It was Springfest. That was sick. I wasn't there. Was it good? You weren't there, Al? You you were probably hammered when you showed up, weren't you? Was that the uh the oh, yeah. Lucille show? Springfest? Oh, I think that was Lucille. Yeah, you busted out Lucille for that one. Or was that the she other was a one? vampire bat. She is a vampire bat. Mm hmm. Are you kidding me? I don't me? remember. Yeah, I don't like, remember. Like eighty five percent of the entire scene was there. It was amazing. Yeah, it was pretty amazing. Badass. Penny Road Pub packed to the gills. You <coughs> couldn't even walk, like shoulder to shoulder the whole place. It was insane. Yeah, that was really fun and we we're Super thankful that Tony Fackley asked us to be a part of that event this past year. That was really fun. Hopefully next yeah. year it'll be just as good. Yeah. I, f- I think we're on that. I feel like we kind of got a spot, maybe. Yeah, we're on it. We maybe. barely made it. I want to say, yeah, like we squeaked barely her in. Like, yeah, they did. We did like a, there was like a big poll that went around and the whole scene voted on it. I think we, we got it. We we're like last place, second to last. So people are like, you know, we feel sorry for those guys. Let them so in. we're just going to let them Fucking play. Pity vote. We're going to let them play at one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Huh. No, I mean, 2.30 in the afternoon. That way we can actually. That I way can we can. That, that way we can have dinner at four thirty, like we always do, and go to bed at six. <laughs> actually, that sounds. Like that sounds amazing. Day. <laughs> Fucking wonderful day. It's such a perfect day. You know, it's like when you think about how your grandparents, you know, such eat dinner at four and they're in bed at six. It's like, Just man, they're grandparents. That's what my parents do. They're living. Carlene, favorite album of twenty seventeen. There's a goal. There's a yeah. goal. The Hawks just scored. They There's just tied it up. There's a goal. There's Hawks a goal. win. Da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da. Hawks <laughs> win. Hawks <laughs> win. Well, it wasn't released in 2017, and nobody will probably even know it. It was uh, an album by Jeff Rosenstock. Blank faces in the house. It's called We Cool. I we cool. kind of heard we cricket. Cool. We Cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I heard Al go. <laughs> yeah. That. <laughs> what style of music is that? It's punk, pop, rock. I would say more punk rock than pop, but it's good. We cool. Good stuff. We cool. We cool. cool. It's we good cool. stuff. Uh, favorite show was Hijinks, hands down. Was um, oh, fuck. I forgot oh, about that. Hijinks is Best amazing. sound at a, at a venue ever. They really know how to yeah. make They really know how to ever. make you feel like a rock that star. Was a that was the show where we all where I think we all came together like we were all on the same wavelength, same heartbeat type shit. You ever had one of those shows? Other. Yeah. yeah. I can it's one of those shows guys. where everything went right. We're like we can't change. believe it. We're actually sounds like we actually sound like we know what we're doing yeah. for a change. Well, it it's funny. Amazing. Whenever the shows that we play the best are the ones yeah. that like <laughs> yeah, it's great. The sound guy was like, "Oh boy, another one of these." Another drummer another that sings. And I'm like, "Let these. me prove you wrong." 
Another one of these. He's like, well, at least you hug the microphone when you sing it. You don't just do fill-ins and like, oh, yeah. You know, I, I like, think he thought he was a backup singer or something. Right? No, no. Right. I'm like code orange, dude. It's like I'm full on. I'm in your face. <laughs> I'm in your face, but I'm in the back of but the I'm stage. Behind, I'm behind a wall of wood, plastic, behind, and brass, yeah, but, but I'm still I'm in your still face. In your face. <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> ah, the wagon now. It doesn't sound just like, like that. that. Just you know, like that. I'm you guys know. out there who just heard that should watch Creed Shreds 3. On YouTube. That's right. Did you say Creed right. Shreds? Creed, Creed Shreds, Shreds 3. Th- Creed Shreds 3. One glove. Yes, one glove. Yes, one glove. I'll take off my gloves. All right. That that is probably it'll it'll I know especially with your sense of humor, Luke. Creed Shreds. Creed Shreds. You'll be laughing till you cry. I assume you will. Oh yeah. Yep. Did you hear that Nickelback was going to put out a cover album? They're covering all Creed songs. Nickelback always puts out. Oh. oh! He said you got no nipples. <laughs> they can cut glass. <laughs> Jesus, wow. I have five minutes left. So this favorite album. <laughs> so favorite Dave's album. Dave's uh, Favorite in this shows. Now. Man, of 2017. Of 2017. I'd have to go there too. Yep, I think that's. You know what though? I will say like that was my favorite show of my yeah, own. I've been some um, my favorite show was like I went to see Barrier Past play. A while back, and like I was like I just I loved it. It was awesome, really great uh, show they put on. So wanted to mention that. So hopefully these guys. There was, I, I wanted know. to mention that. So there, there's there. this. The, and that's there, all there I got to say yeah, about that. There yeah. was a really really awesome show I went to at the Bottom Lounge in the springtime, early. God, it was like late winter, early spring, and I remember it distinctly because there was this guy with his girlfriend that came up to me at the show. And they were like, they were like, oh my god! Like I didn't realize it was you until I saw your muscles. <laughs> muscles. That's a weird thing to say. No, that's a horrible I, pickup line. That is exactly. I didn't what know happened. it was you. And I and I turned around. I'm like, wow, who are these creep jobs? And it's Luca and Morgan. Oh, and I'm like, and I'm uh, like, and I'm uh, like, oh my god, no, for today, <laughs> fit for a king. You see how the context like, changes? Oh, like after the you, burial. If I'm, you thought it was somebody else, it's like Jesus Christ. That's is he really conceited? my God. No. I totally. But then you find out it's Lugo, and you're like, yeah, that that oh, makes you're like, exactly. No, that's exactly. Yeah, that's exactly what he would I was totally thinking. Say. I'm like, that's totally something I would. Say. I totally. Yeah. Totally knew where the story was I going totally as <laughs> soon as you started the guy and his girlfriend. Oh my I was like, God. This is totally after the burial. <laughs> it was amazing. Oh my God, after the burial. Oh. It was if so I could go back so and good. relive yeah. that moment. I cr- no, you understand. I had. I had a. That show was magical for it, me. Why? Why? I crowd surfed. What, uh, oh, you don't the, understand. I am a 285-pound man, <laughs> and I fucking crowd surfed. Oh, my God. I got thrown up by this dude who was probably maybe about 215, and he goes, no, you're going, because I'm that guy. And I'm like, I'll just look at people. I'm like, you want to go? You want to go? You want to crowd surf? Like, and I'm just like, you cool, boom. And I'll just throw people all day. Like, that's my just fun. I don't, I don't get to do and it. So he I saw live, you, and he was like, so this I guy live needs vicariously a through other people. I'm like, well, you want to crowd surf because I really want to, but I can't. So then I throw him, right? And this dude was like, no, you. And then finally, like, he was like, I swear he probably threw his back out picking me up. But then, like, four other people, like, added on. And I actually crowd surfed. And I'm like, this is what it feels like to be a normal person. I can't believe this. It was magical. And it was to fucking all that. Like, after the burial, I couldn't believe it. Oh, You said bottom lounge? At the bottom lounge. And they, yeah. They even played the song that, you know, uh, your troubles will cease and fortune will smile upon you. My Favorite album from the In Dream, or favorite song from the In Dreams album? I couldn't believe it. Sorry, sorry, I was right. lost in a moment there. It was a good show. Oh, it was a really, show. really good oh, show. You already said. I already said. Floggy Molly, you said. Yeah. Floggy Molly. What about uh, what was the other thing? What about your favorite show of ours of this year? Of ours? Yeah. I'm curious. I'm bi curious. Well, probably got to be with the hijinks. <laughs> oh, we could tell. Yeah, that was, that was <laughs> it's a in a fam- it's a family event. Yeah, family affair. <laughs> it's the hips. It's, it's all fam- in the hips. Family trade. <laughs> <laughs> it's all in the hips. Something about them. We actually had monitors that worked. Yeah. There we go. It's fucking over. Hey, hey. Oh, sorry. That wasn't a goal. That was a replay. Dude. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> I got taken away. How often do you watch the fly, huh? Huh? Well, I was listening to, to Al talk about 
uh, somebody said by curious uh, that my was, attention yeah, has been yeah, yeah. like then instantly it was just like, like also it was just like check out <laughs> yeah it was like okay I'm going back to the fucking I game th- I think that yeah. was in your mind he goes on by curious then interesting he was like the black ox because I'm like what? hey black ox the black ox so every black time I come ox. back like two minutes is everybody passed. loves the black ox alright so business isn't there uh, black ox favorite shows but uh, oh man are we talking about the show on the 29th <laughs> okay, then I'm way past my bed. Speaking of six o'clock bedtimes, so why don't we play a song? So you can so take a nap. I'm gonna a take nap. another quick nap. Wake up refreshed. Morgan, who needs to pick a track? Dave. Don't pick Mister Sleepy. I fucking knew it. Dave, Mister Sleepy Pants. Uh, downshift. Downshift. All right, let's do it. Atlanta is burning. The song downshift. I'm Meredith. I'm Ryan. And I'm John. And we are Victims. And you're listening to The Metal Experience. Check out our full-length album, Volume 2, Inside the Mind, available everywhere. We are 
back. Once again, I am Morgan Danielle with Luco Blaze. Once again, you're Morgan Danielle. The man with the knowledge. That man with the knowledge. (laughs) The knowledge. And we are still chilling with Atlanta is Burning. That was another track that we just heard from them called Downshift. That was Dave's pick. Hashtag Embers. Pick up a pancake. All right. So where were we? We just wrapped up talking about our favorite albums and shows of 2017. 2018. What does 2018 have in store for Atlanta is Burning? As of right now, we have one show booked i think two if you count spring we have, fest we have two yeah but we've got Actually, one wait. we've got one that's that's legit official that we've legit. already advertised on facebook yeah. Well, um, I guess, yeah and that is that is the a silent truth cd release party that orion 9 is coming back from the dead yeah. to play really yeah and it's yeah they're they're a thing now like you got to look out for them and um <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, a bunch of there's there's uh, Eve Under Fire and a bunch of other bands on it. Genotypes playing it, I believe. Yeah, uh, it's going to be an amazing show. I believe it is at Brar House. It is Brar House in the House. new in the new big room, the, the big, Bee House like, Live, the room. Bee House Live room yep. that they they took over the Montessori school because they don't care about education, and uh, <laughs> and they turned it into a music venue because that's how you educate the kids now. Brar like, House yeah. is. Expanded, music. dude. Yeah. Have it's you huge. not driven past it? It looks huge now. No, it's, I haven't. It's not. It it's is. not just huge. It's huge. It's huge. 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 Very huge. Cool. huge. When is that? When is that show? That is uh, March seventeenth at the Bra House. Yeah. At the yeah. Bra House. It's huge. That's St. Patrick's Day. Yo, it's the St. Patty's show. We're what? Wear, wear your Green Hawks jerseys. We're talking oh, I got millions one. of jobs. I knew you did. Okay. Oh, yeah, you I do. Did. Millions so of jobs. You probably got green leggings to go with it too. I have the green leggings. Still in need of those. No, I don't have them. I wish no. I did. Your Christmas is coming around the corner. I wore I my green skirt. I know. I could totally right. ask for a pair of green leggings. But aside from that, uh, we do have shows coming up, but we've been working on a new EP. We've been <gasps> writing new songs. We have. We have. So ETA? ETA. We don't know of the ETA yep. yet, but <laughs> yeah. we're trying... So the ETA is really when Game of Thrones comes back. We're yeah. doing, yeah, we're doing a lot of we're doing a lot of pre-production. Um, one thing we've learned over over the past two albums is that got to pre. We got to, yeah, gotta we got to take a lot of time up front. That way, when it comes down to recording, it's literally just all right. You know what you're doing when it comes press, down to recording. Press, press the red button and pick, just do it. Pick up a pancake. Yeah, yeah then it's pick just up pick, a pick up a pancake. Pick up a pancake. Up a pancake. Yeah, I, I can't totally. resist a chance to do that. <laughs> I've never heard <laughs> breakfast so genty. I know, right? <laughs> but now every time, every time you go to eat breakfast, you can be uh, like, pick up a pancake. Yeah, pick yeah. Up a pancake. I pick totally up a pancake. will. Pancake. But I'd hear like, where's my bacon? Where's my bacon? <laughs> Actually, I want to get some pancakes. Pancake. Where's my bacon? Where's my pick bacon? Up pancake. Pick up a pancake. Pick up a pancake. No, 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 Bring them bacon. But yeah, Bring no, that's pretty much it. 2018, you know, <laughs> we, we, we didn't we didn't play a ton of shows in 2017. I want to say that we played what? We counted it like maybe 10? Like eight, no, it was maybe? five. I think no, no. We we played, y'all we wrong. played like eight shows. Y'all, y'all wrong. Y'all, y'all wrong. wrong. Was it Andy? No, y'all wrong. January. Andy, tell me, how many shows did we play in 2017? He's counting. I'm, I'm counting them up. Hold on. January. Okay. Then we played again in April. We played again in April. We played in. You I want to say we played in June for some reason, but I don't think we did. For some reason. For no. some reason. Anyway, in July. June. I know we had a show. And we had one, two in August. July was Quincy. August was hijinks. But we had two in August. We had the one at the... And then Revival. We had the one at Forge as well. How do you remember? Oh, shit, that's right. Dude, we remember everything. We remember everything. I don't remember what I did yesterday. That's because you don't... You're never... You are never sober is why. Yesterday. When are you ever sober? I'm sober tonight. You say that, but I've watched you have... uh, You had so many um, Shirley Temples. I can't even... Those were... Those are kitty cocktails. I know, but I'm saying you had a lot. Like what are you that's he's drunk I'm on all, Sprite. I'm she's all yeah, he, about he's uh, he's he, he's he's overhydrated. You can't. It affects your brain. Can't remember but anything. I think it was somewhere in the neighborhood of eight or nine shows. This See, year, which oh. isn't bad. I was like ten, eight. We 10, just did a whole know? bunch in a row. Like we, we kinda, did instead of like doing them over the course of the entire year, we kind of condensed them into a few months. Right. You're just like so. our, all of our shows are in July. Yeah. And then Basically, we're, we're just gonna hit the scene really hard for like two months. And then that's it. Yep. That's it. That's it. And back, then, uh, yeah. Back in the dungeon. Then we're back in, yeah, back home. Yeah. <laughs> you know, home. eating in our underwear. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing. We just get so comfortable just playing to each other. We're like, let's just do this all the time. In black socks. You know? Yeah, black socks. That's right. 
Not, yeah. Uh, black and gray. Those are knee socks, too, aren't they? They're compression. I got, I jacked up my heel. Oh, I'm sorry to hear Like about a stupid that. asshole. That's because softball is life. Softball is oh, life. Oh, look at that. She's got her Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> They're Ninja. not even matching. Not Can you not matching. organize your socks? My ma- never. My never. You always wear whatever. Just two green socks is works. Absolutely. Oh, my gosh. Do they come in other pairs? It has to be black. You and my her. wife are the same person. Do you, do you have, like, uh, like Donatello and Leonardo? I do. You do? I have all, all and Splinter and Shredder. Right. Wow. But they're, but, they're all, but they're all pairs that she doesn't wear together. No, ever. I never wear anything together. There was strictly a pair that had no matches for that purpose. That's wow. Hilarious. That's kind of cool. Yeah. That so she can roundhouse kick you in the know, face with Raphael and, then, and Michelangelo. And then I have all wow. Marvel socks. And then yep. I have like Batman. Did you know they did advent calendars for that shit? For socks. I bought my wife I bought my wife a an, a Star Wars advent calendar and the women of DC advent calendar so that way she had 24 days of christmas this year luco all socks Why don't you give all me fucking Car- socks but like but socks. no every day in december she gets to wear a brand new pair of socks she's like do i have to do laundry today no just go to my fucking advent calendar boom why don't socks. i get a sock calendar go you to have work. too many socks no such thing you day. want more socks and Here's you have th- socks yeah Dang, frustration up in here they're at tar- anyway they're at target and they're 12 dollars a piece go get them it's too late. It She'd is. have to wear like eight socks tomorrow. Do you think she would? Because I think she would. I wear two pairs of socks a day, bra. 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 What? Bra. bra. Brotato chip. Bra. Brochacho. Yeah. yeah. Protein shake. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite one. That's not all, Teddy Roosevelt. <laughs> Teddy Roosevelt. I'm all about more. Oh, my goodness. Morgan, I, it sucks. Mm-hmm. you lost me. Overtime. Brohim. Brohim. Oh. oh, there it is. It's oh. time for some three on three OT. Oh man! Tree on tree, Morgan. We got so. we've got a ton of music from Atlanta's Burning. Let's play another song. We do. Okay. Hey, do you guys got? Uh... Nah, we don't got that one. Okay. Uh, Al, how about you pick a song? I I did. Pick another song. You're the Bro only Chacho? one. Bro Chacho. Yeah, you're the only one who what? has it, Andy. What? Yeah, you got. I, I, I feel for- the buck. I feel you forgotten. I haven't picked a song. Okay. Is it just because I'm at the end of the table? Well, go old. Keith, go old. I don't want to pick all the songs. Yeah, go old. Did I? Really? You guys want me to go old? Go old. Go old. All right. Go can you OG. Play, can you play uh, Welcome to the Notley Abbey? Do you have that one? <laughs> That's my favorite yeah, song. It's like, like what? Welcome to yes. the okay. Notley Abbey. All right. That's not how it goes. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Where everybody is your friend. Still not how it goes. <laughs> That's how it goes. That's exactly <laughs> right. <laughs> Uh, let's do it. We get Dr. Roxo to come out and sing it. It's Dr. Roxo. Yeah, baby. All right. Here we go. Yeah, baby. Dr. Roxo's partying right now, baby. All right, what time is it? Seven to one, I can't wait. Let's 
Hi, I'm Morgan. And I'm Ian. I'm Derek. And, and we, we are, are the most, most of me. me. Stay tuned for our new EP, Quantum, and you are listening to The, the Metal, Metal Experience. Experience. Woo! That was another Tasty Atlanta's Burning track. That was Welcome to the Notley Abbey. Off got, the album, I got, Welcome to the Notley Abbey. Good and that thing was I, a little bit of an older school Good track. thing I didn't have to say that twice. Oldie, but a good. That was tough. Older Oldie. school. We're old. new school, but we released that a while ago. So it's old school. Yeah. Yeah, it's like well, three years ago, three and a half years ago. Yeah. Morgan's got a couple two tree announcements for us. I do. Tree? Oh. Just a couple two three announcements. Tree 33? Two yeah. tree. Go ahead and announce, announce that uh, stuff there. Uh, oh, hey, hey. What's starting what, uh, what do you with got there? Hey. Oh, Don't Eddie Olchek. Yeah. Our friends in Ornaco have their brand new EP release called Nihilism. <laughs> it is up on Bandcamp for download, just $4. Four smackaroonies. Uh, it's got some killer, pounds killer artwork. For American dollars. We opened with one of the tracks tonight, Raised by the Stars. There's a lyric video out on YouTube as well for that. So definitely check that out. Um, also, there is a band that we're going to have on next year in March, a black metal band called Urzuli, and they are doing a competition right now. Are they Italian? Uh, they are not. Urzuli? Rusciuto. Rusciuto. Um, they are doing a competition with Swimming with the Shark, uh, Swimming <coughs> with Sharks Entertainment. It's a battle of the unsigned bands contest for uh, a record deal. And if you head to their Facebook page, there's a link for you to vote for them. So go ahead and like the page and vote for them uh, to win the contest. That's pretty sweet. Also, Grave Robber has announced that they are releasing a brand new CD next year called Escaping the Grave, and it's coming early next year. So keep your eyes out for that. Grave Robber? Grave Robber is back. Is that the one band that does the thing? It is that one band that does the thing. The one band that I saw? Yes, the one band that you saw. (laughs) The one? With Michael Graves. Remember? Okay, that's the right band then. Yes. Was that, at, was that at Brar House? It was, was at Brar House. I was going to say, because he always plays Brar House. Yeah. Have yeah. you seen Grey Robber? back in the day, though. They're pretty cool. They are really cool. So, yes. I think you'd like them. Go see their Facebook page for the artwork for that promo for the new okay. album. Okay. And next week on the show is going to be the last show of 2017, because the day after Christmas, we don't want to be here because we don't, we don't know be here. we don't know you know people are spending time with family doing still Christmas around the holiday stuff, stuff. Right. we're going to be doing holiday stuff so um our last show of 26 2016 holy shit 17, 17. one more time uh it's going to be with Sorry. the codeine's finally <laughs> finally in. we've been trying to get them on she our show since we shit. were at the codeine and, and sprite i do not um <laughs> Scissor up. Since we Scissor. were at the Portage Park location, <laughs> Sinister Fate is going to be joining us for their first time ever Woo-woo. on our show. Yep. So come out to Elmhurst. This is for keys if you want to hang out with us. And the show will be posted next Wednesday on our website. Um, and last but not least, there is a Toys for Tots show going on this weekend. Always a good cause for the holiday season and, of course, to see some metal bands bringing it together to help kids. and Tater tots for toys? Um, on my six, 99 Proof Devils, Absalom, uh, Reckless Redemption, Faith in Vain, The Most of Me, and more. Pretty They're going to be playing. It doesn't tell me on this flyer. Maybe tell not. me, though. Uh, December 16th at noon till 1 a.m., Holy shit, that's a long day of music. Noon. It's going to be at Whiskey's Roadhouse in Rockford. Great venue. Great yes. sound. Yes. So definitely do you like support What about their whiskey? I do like my Whiskey's Roadhouse. Bring in an uh, unwrapped toy, a brand new toy for a child in need. Give them a smile Children's for toy, to be specific. Yes, a child's toy. Um, <laughs> Keith, you weirdo. <laughs> and <laughs> Someone gets confused. <laughs> and that ruins the whole show. And make sure you just watch our uh, Facebook page for updates of upcoming shows that we'll repost for friends and bands and people that want to uh, help promoting their shows. We also just put up this week a EP review An for app? Pile of Priests, their new EP that uh, Jenny Holland called? released. The band is called Pile of Priests. Priests? Pile of Priests. Yes. 
priests. Priests. Like, you go to like church, a there's holy a priest. A priest. Figure. Priests. Yes, a priest. But multiple priests. those. But multiple. Like multiple. Like priestesses. There's a Added pile of them. Priest. Priestesses. Like there's boxes. Why is priestesses. So well, no. <laughs> it's already plural, dude. You, you wouldn't say Chineses. You know I, what I, mean? I do. Priest. <laughs> priest. <laughs> pile of priests. Priests. It's like when you say, like, Chinese is. Like, how do you say It's like a very subtle. Like, how do you say, like, like what's, what's the pearl of goose? You just kind of geese, geese, right? Yeah. What's, the pearl, what's the pearl of moose? Mooses. Mo- it's, yeah, it's moose. meese. <laughs> is it really? I thought that was like, for mice. Like, how, like, how many, like, like if you have more mice. than, if you have more than one ox, you have what? You have oxen? Yeah. But then you, if you have more than one box, you have what? You have boxen. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Boxes. It's too uh, late well, for this. Uh, <laughs> That's why it's impossible to learn the goddamn English language. That's all language. for us, folks. Uh, good night. Dave. I got to move some boxing over real. at my house. Fucking boxing to the wooden is <laughs> I've, uh, Yeah, I think the I've lost a couple points on my IQ tonight, for boxing. sure. <laughs> Along with sleep deprivation. That was pretty good. Yes, me too. So we're going to wrap uh, up the night. Brian Regan. I, yes. I ripped it off We of hope him. that you guys are going to come back and share your you new EP Stila. next year with us for your I fifth time. I gave him credit. Sure. Absolutely. And in the meantime, somebody find Keith his VIP badge pass. so I can finally feel important. Please, before the end of the year, <laughs> so he can experience your December 29th show with it on. So yeah. he can experience. Well, I was in charge of Al. So I'm going to wear it around my neck. It? Yeah, I was in charge of it. You get, gave me Al. You can go, but there's my a, VIP like actual right documentation. Right around the front of the, right the, front of the choker. Yeah. And everybody so can see let's it. Let's play that game. I know you gave me Al's and Al. And yeah, then I'll just, then I'll wear my so metal experience T shirt with, with it. Am I the only one here with a metal experience T shirt? Maybe. You guys should get one of those. It is like it oh, is the yeah. most premium cotton. It is. is. It, it feels so the good. Pre- it fits like a glove. Do I have one of those? I don't I think do. so. I don't think I have is one. Is this a fucking joke? I have the original <laughs> one. No, you have a new one and you don't wear it. I don't know where it is. It's underneath that misfits hoodie. We're going to hear with your, one underneath more song your Misfits shirt, underneath the tonight. Misfits Under, hoodie, Luco, underneath your we'll Misfits talk headphones, later about your underneath lack my of Misfits socks, your clothes. <laughs> Jesus um, Christ. Under my what Misfits is the underwears. Last tra- Jesus Christ. What <laughs> is the last track by Atlanta's <laughs> Burning that we're going to hear tonight? Morgan Anybody? says we have to Anybody get out of here because I have to find my metal experience. Shirt. Highball. We are highball played. we played. Did we play <laughs> highball already? We yeah. did. See, you guys are fucking giving me shit. Let's dig one. Do you guys have the entire first album, too? Just... Give me what track you want to play. Give me what track. Give you my, you know, Technicolor, because that's my Technicolor? favorite fucking song. That's my favorite awesome. song. We can yeah. definitely do Cause that. Because I'm, like, I'm like, because I, I think of my kitties, because I'm like, you cut your, me out. Your kitty cats? Yeah, my kitty cats. All I right. got two of them. I got Stark Dick for, uh, you know, Tony, Tony Stark. Stark. And then I got Frank for Frank Castle. For Frank Vito. Mm-hmm. Show him your hand. Perfect. Show him. Oh, yeah, yeah. See? My, that's this oh fucking my. psycho Tony, fuckers, Tony man. Stark did that to me. Meow. I catnipped him, and then we were playing in the tube, and you he, gave like, him he like catnip shredded and then me. Yeah, he, he shredded what would happen He if eviscerated I gave... my hand. Both happen? of his black animals are assholes. They're awesome. One humps everything, and the other one scratches the fuck out of you. What? They're, they're really good babies. <laughs> <laughs> what if I gave my dog catnip? One assaults you, and the other one humps you. So, I mean, technically, both is assault. Someone's driving one sexual Keith assault. home tonight. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> They're working as a team. Oh my god! You get them low, I'll get them high. They are the best animals ever. You guys just, <laughs> you just, you just you promote, out on that you one. promote the bad behaviors. All right. Whenever they're at your house. So this is a song for you to pet something. your kitties to. Here is Key's pick for Technicolor to end the night out. Next week, be sure to head out to Pittsburgh Keys. Our last show, 2017, going to be with Sinister Fate. We will see you next week. And uh, everything else will be via Facebook until then. So, Hey-o. good night. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Thank you for listening. Hasta lasagna.
Someone to say